Hello, people. Episode 19 of Until Death Do Us Part. Um. Which. Okay, people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then everything turns to black. Okay. <laughs> Do you really think your little warning would save him, Sophia? Oh my God! Why did you? Why did you that? The girl by. Why did you do that, Jay? Is he okay? Get the fuck up, Sophia. He'll be fine. His head is bleeding, Jay. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you get hit. When you hit someone in the head with the butt of your gun. <laughs> oh, God. Can I go get the first aid kit and some ice uh, we can move him to the couch and then... No. Mm. I'm gonna take him to Nikolai. I know he loves to have some fun with the Irish clown. Say, please don't. Nikolai will kill him. I can do whatever the hell I want, Sophia. But, but he's friends with my brothers and... Do you think I give a fuck about your brothers? Girl, no, he down, girl. And I tell you not to talk about your family ever again. How many times do I have to tell you this? Your brothers and your sister don't care about you, Sophia. If they actually wanted you back, they would have found you by now. Girl, you tried that. Um, I know for a fact nobody is looking for you. You're lying. Yeah, my baby. It's been three years since you've been here. It shouldn't take three years to find one girl. Just don't take him to Nicolai J, please. For me. Stop pleading with me. I'm going to take him to Nicolai, Sophia. There's nothing you can say or do that'll change my mind. You're an ass, you know that? <laughs> you know what? I think it's time Axel and I have one of our training lessons. No, no, Jay, you can't. Anytime Axel came back from a training lesson with Jay, Sophia noticed his bruises and cuts all over his body. Sophia can't imagine the horrible things Jay did to Axel in an effort to get him accustomed to their lifestyle. Girl, you a dumb, dumb, dumb heifer. Okay? Sophia couldn't sit to see her little boy cry from the pain Jay inflicted on him every night. But what could she do? She was powerless against Jay. Well, she really kill his ass, bitch. He gotta sleep. Or he gotta eat. And you cook him. Girl, bye. He's only three. He shouldn't be exposed to those things. He's so beautiful and innocent. I don't want you to ruin that. I don't care what you want, Sophia. The sooner he gets used to our lifestyle, the better. You don't want him to be like me when he grows up. No, I don't. Fuck. I shouldn't have said that out loud. It was a mistake letting you spend more time with Axel. You're softening him up too much. <laughs> I think from now on, you'll see him once a week, and I'll take him during the evening. Bitch, please. No, please. I'm sorry for being disrespectful. Of course I want Axel to be like you. you're his father, after all. I'm glad you feel that way. Axel. Yes, Daddy. Come with me. We're going to have some fun. But I want to stay with Mommy. Are you talking back, Axel? Axel, go with your father, okay? I don't want to go, Mommy. Daddy scares me. Please, don't let me go. Axel whispered fearfully to Sophia, making sure Jay didn't hear him. Sophia could see the tears forming in his beautiful blue eyes. The eyes identical to Jay's. Her heart broke for her little baby boy. This isn't the life she wanted for her child. For her beautiful baby boy. Mm. Um, Sophia found out she was pregnant with Axel. She 
was so sure she would hate this baby. How could she ever love a child that's from a man that ruined her life? The man that took everything away from her. But when she, but when he was born, she couldn't hate him. Even though he was half Jay's, he was also half hers. And that's what, and that's all that mattered. Don't cry, sweetie. Please, you're gonna make mommy sad. Sorry, mommy. I don't want to. I don't want you to be sad. I know you don't want to go with daddy, but you have to, or else he's gonna get mad. <laughs> I promise we'll spend time together afterwards. Okay, sweetheart. Just go with daddy, please, for mommy. Okay, I'll go with daddy. But make sure Auntie Fatima doesn't eat all my mac and cheese again. I promise, baby. I love you, sweetie. I'm ready. Meanwhile, who the fuck is this feather face ass hoe? Like, he getting on my damn nerves with this damn mask on, baby. Good news, Jay was able to knock out the uh, Callahan. Well, whatever the hell she, he said. Um, now all we have to do is make sure the rest of the men that came with Alex get the hell out of here so we can begin our fun. What's this for? Oh, to hide your identity. We don't want anyone to recognize you now, do we? Oh, bitch. I don't get the time, girl. <sighs> Levi watched in confusion as the masked man took out his green contacts and styled his hair differently. The masked man looked like a completely different person. Why are you changing your hairstyle and eye color? Let's just stay out a mood for our identity change. Just stay out in, in the mood. Okay, whatever. If it was confused. Why did the masked man decide to change the way he looked now? And why did Levi suddenly look exactly like the masked man? What was he planning? Something wasn't right. Go meet Nikolai in the hallway. He has a special job for you. Wait, where are you going? That's for me to know and you to never find out. Okay, girl. Levi just took out his phone and started adoring at the lock screen picture. His beautiful daughter, Kayla. Mm. Joe pierced his gut as he thought about what he was about to do. What would Kayla think? Knowing her dad was about to kill a man. What would Valentina think knowing one of her friends was going to kill her husband? That bitch, you ain't her friend, ho. Um, he kept telling himself it was for the best. That he was helping Valentina. He was saving her. But no matter how hard he tried to convince himself that that was, well, wait, that what he was doing was right, he couldn't shake the feeling of self-loathing and guilt. Who the fuck is that? Um, Valentina would never forgive him. But will she ever find out? Mm -mm. He prayed to God. Well, he prayed God would forgive him for his sins tonight. Where's Alex? He should be... Well, he should have been here ages ago. Something must have happened to him. I know this plan wasn't a good plan. I know this wasn't a good plan. Um, if you didn't think this was a good plan, why didn't you speak up at the meeting? I did, but you hard-head Callahan's have the tendency to only hear the bullshit you want to hear. <laughs> I swear to God, Giovanni, I'll show you right here in front of your own son. And Okay, quit arguing. We should be more focused on getting Alex back. You're right. Raphael and Fidel, I need you both to go to every single room in that building until you find my son. Who the hell do you think you are commanding my son around like a dog? <laughs> if you want someone to find, sorry, to do something for you, get your grip. Uh, get your lap dog Fidel to do it for you. Oh, bitch, no, no, no. The only person who can tell Raphael what to do is me. Uh, actually, Mama can tell me what to do, too. I always do what she says. God, that woman scares me. And it's also Cleo Armstrong. I'll let her sexy ass command me around anytime. 
Well, it's irritating. <laughs> uh, I fell. Shut up before I kill you myself. All right. Like it or not, Callahan? Mm. I just can't send Fidel in the. What? No, that's wrong. Like it or not, Giovanni, I just can't send Fidel in there to search for Alex. If I Rafael, go with Fidel. God, this is a mess. Once we defeat the Russians, all our problems will be low, over. This feud will finally be over. The feud that you're responsible for. I have no idea what you're talking about, Giovanni. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Simus. Don't act ignorant. Oh, Jesus, not Simus. Fidel, Raphael, leave. Mm. You're talking about the baby I took uh, from Nikolai, aren't you? Mm. This feud will have never begun if you have left that kid alone. How could you? How could you expect me to just leave that kid alone? After what Nikolai did to me? Did to my family, how could you expect me to let that child live? It was a child, Simon. The child did nothing to you. That child ruined everything for me. He should have never been born. That that demon child should have never been born. I'm glad I got rid of that thing before it grew to be a monster like Nikolai. I did the right thing that right, that night. Uh, mm, a rocko. I don't know what the hell I be calling him. But I think I'm gonna rock I did the right thing. Um, oh shit. You should be thinking me, but instead you look at me with this with disdain and disappointment. I saved your life, damn it. You I saved all of our lives. Calm down, famous bitch girl. You're real dramatic. I, I ended the responsibility of Nikolai having an heir to his empire. I stopped the creation of the demon, a monster. If it weren't for me, the Russians would have killed us all by now. I say both our asses. You should be on your knee, hands and knees praising me. No, bitch, I think you're taking it a bit too far, girl. Is this how you justify what you did? Is that how you justify your sins? This is how you bury your guilt away from that night. What about your guilt, uh, Rocco? Like Rocco. Rocco. Um, shit. What about your sins? You act so no so moral and victorious, but virtuous. But you're just as guilty as I am. Now, that's where you're wrong, Simon. I had no part in the events that took place that night 22 years ago, honey. Bullshit, you were there. You helped me. I might have been there, Simon, but I, I remember correct. If I remember correctly, it was to stop you from ending an innocent baby's life. All I'm saying is, you better pray to God that Nikolai isn't handling Alex right now. Because we both know he'd love to get his revenge through Alex. You know the uh, the motto all mafia families live by: an eye for an eye, two for two, son for a son. <laughs> okay. Ouch! That was a quote from a book. Girl, get the. Okay. Back to the story, cause nobody gave a shit about that damn quote, child. What do you think he could be? I have no idea he could be anywhere in this damn building. Damn it, we should have been more prepared. We should have bought more men. Or we shouldn't have come at all. You're right. Uh, you shouldn't have come here. Shit, Raphael, are you okay? Raphael groans painfully in response. Fidel glances at Raphael and saw a dark red blood stain growing on his stomach. Raphael's face was pale and dripping with sweat. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> Fidel hoped Raphael wasn't losing too much blood. I've been better. 
Hang in there, buddy. Don't close your eyes, okay? Mm-hmm. Why, if it isn't the Callahan's little bitch and Giovanni's disgrace of a son. I hope my friend here didn't hurt you too much. Please, do you actually think two small flesh moons will slow me down? Oh, you're definitely using Giovanni strong-willed and yet insanely idiotic. The only idiot here is you, Nikolai. I can easily make a three-bullet wound. Wait, I can easily make it three-bullet wounds, little boy. So shut your mouth. I don't know what the hell. Anyway, note it. <laughs> Did you come to rescue your friend Alex? Quite frankly, he's more of a monster than a friend to you, isn't he, Fidel? Where is he, Nikolai? No, why would I tell you that? Just give us Alex and we'll leave peacefully. I don't think so, friend. I have some fun activities planned for well, with Alex for tonight. Well, fun for me. It'll be very painful for Alex. Don't worry. I'll be done with my fun by the end of the night. Unfortunately, there'll be an 80% chance he'll be dead by then. So, Simon, so this part is, uh, this is part of my revenge. This ain't good, man. Tell me about it. Alex's point of view. My eyes flutter open as I slowly start to gain consciousness. What the hell happened? One second, I'm seeing Sophia alive and well and warning me about something, and now... Now I'm on the floor of some dirty-ass basement tied up in a rusty fog. <laughs> Fucking great. My hair hurts like a motherfucker. Someone must have hit me in the back of the head with something. Probably a gun. I look around trying to uh, get a grasp of my surroundings. Where the hell am I? Ah, you're awake. Do you have a nice nap? I've had better. Do you know why you're here, Callahan? I'm guessing it's not for a friendly mafia get-together, huh? You're right. This is all about revenge. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'm assuming this is revenge against my father? Correct. Your father took my pride and joy away from me 22 years ago. It's only fair that I return the favor. Sounds interesting. Oh, it is. I'm going to be interested, Alex. Uh, for me, at least. For you, it's going to be quite painful night. Shit. Nikolai was known for his brutal and inhumane torture tactics. How am I going to survive this? Well, boy, aren't you known for the exact same thing? Uh, I start to quietly try and undo the rope that's burning me, that's binding me to this pole. Judging by how tightly I'm binded, binded. I can tell this might take a while. Nikolai pulls out some brass spiked knuckles mm, out of his pocket and slowly slips them into his fingers. Let's start off slow, shall we? Mm. Nikolai bashes my face with the brass knuckles over and over again. Stars begin to appear at the corner of my eyes. Hot blood starts to heart starts to oozing down my cheeks. Damn, this hurts. I can barely feel myself losing consciousness again. I can feel myself losing consciousness. Uh, but I have to stay awake if I want to escape. Um, I just don't know how much how much of this I can take. Does it hurt, hurt Alexander? Do you feel yourself losing consciousness? Actually, I'm quite disappointed, Nikolai. I could barely feel your punches. Looks like the whole age is catching up to you. Perhaps you're right. And I think I know someone that would love to inflict massive pain on you. Who the hell is that? Hello, Alex. It's nice to see you again. Hey Angelina, I hope you're. Well, I hope you like your character. Okay, whatever. Back to the story. Oh shit, Alex. 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 
Angelina Pavaro. I don't know what the fuck her last name. Angelina P, y'all, bitch. Shit. <laughs> is Nikolai's firstborn daughter and Yana's older sister. I dated her in secret for a month or two and to get uh, efforts to get Russian information. Let's just say by the end of the relationship, I had a shotgun wound in my foot and she had a broken heart. Angelina is a crazy bitch. <laughs> when I say crazy, I mean watch, watch you in your sleep type of crazy. That's part of the reason why I broke things off with her. The other part was because she started talking about marriage. When it comes to torturing people, she's just as ruthless as Nikolai, maybe even more. On top of that, she was still bitter about the breakup. Fuck me, I was so screwed. Take good care of our guest. Angelina, yes, father. How long has it been, Angelina? Two years? It's been two years, three months, three... Hell no, nah, three weeks, six days, and 54 minutes since you broke my damn heart. Bitch is bad shit crazy at this point, girl. But who's counting? I'm not. Girl, you clearly are. See what I tell you? Crazy bitch. Uh, I heard you married a Giovanni. I thought you had good taste in women, Alex. It looks like I'm mistaken considering you're playing house with some Italian slut. Why does everybody keep calling me an Italian slut, bitch? <laughs> tell me, Alex. Does she make you feel good as I did? I clenched my teeth trying my best to contain my anger. It's none of your business, Angelina. And if you call my wife an, a slut again, I'll slit your throat. Oh, touchy subject, eh? <laughs> Are you in love with her? Again, it's none of your business. So you can love her, but you couldn't love me? After all I did for you? Don't tell me you're still mad about our breakup. Of course I'm still mad. Damn you. I love you, Alex. I love you so much. But this, it, it was all a sham to get information on my father. I ain't gonna deny that. Aren't you gonna say sorry that you miss that you missed me, that you want me back? If I say that, I'll be lying to you, sweetheart. No, she's angry, bitch. Now you, you asshole. You don't have an ounce of remorse, do you? Nope. Screw you, Alexander Callahan. I've been waiting to get my revenge on you for a while now. Now I can finally have it. Angelina pulls out two silver push daggers out of the back of her back pocket and starts slowly walking towards me. She kneels down in front of me, smiles deviously before jamming both knives into my right thigh. I bite down on my tongue trying to suppress my scream. Does that hurt, baby? Do you want to scream? <laughs> You're going to have to do better than that to make me scream, Angelina. <laughs> oh, we're just getting started, Alex. Angelina slowly pulls the knives out of my thighs, making sure I feel every agonizing sensation. I have a lot planned for you tonight. Oh, you're going to... Wait. Oh, you're going too hard, Val. What the... F no, quit complaining and hold still. It's five, by the way. Um, Layla tends to, uh, uh, child. I don't know why I'm so freaking tongue-tied today. Like, I'm stressed out. She stressed me out. Tatifoli lays the palms of her hand on top of mine and eyes, it eyes me suspiciously. I pause for a few seconds waiting for her to lose her guard. Then, at lightning speed, I lift my hands above hers and smack the back of her hand to her. I love the slap game. Ow, Val, that's six. Why do you have to smack me so hard? Come on, wait, come on. You're just being sensitive. I don't want to play anymore. Why not? We're having fun. No, I'm not. Sure you are. Anytime you scream, ow, you're actually saying, Val, this is so much fun. Or am I saying, ow, because I'm in pain? That's My smacks aren't that hard. Uh, Layla gives me a, a disbelieving look. What? They're not. Come on, one more round, please. Fine. Ow, Val, that's seven. Valentina, 
uh, Nikki. Stop hitting your sister. We're playing the game, Mama. Then why is uh, Lila screaming out every five seconds? Because she's having so much fun. She's in, <laughs> she's in pain. You're a horrible liar. Give me kisses. Okay, come on. Just stop hitting your sister. Look. So, what are we going to play now? Oh. Okay. Can you stop crying? Shit. Okay, let's play with dolls. Hush. Hush. Please pick something else. <laughs> Nope, you promise we play anything I want for two hours. <coughs> oh, wait, is this the same thing? Did you know that now when you use this... Oh, oh, yeah, okay. So let's play Barbie. Fine, let's play, yay. Hi, Rosa. <coughs> Do you want to play uh, Barbie with Valentina and I? I'm too old for silly games like those, Layla. Oh, okay. But if you're too old to play Barbie, why is Valentina playing? Shouldn't she be too old too? She is too old, Layla. Valentina just has the mind of an 11 year old and doesn't know how to act her age. Stay here. Sing the number song. <sighs> okay. Oh, so I'm immature because I like playing with my baby sister. Excuse me for actually caring about my family, unlike you selfish ass. Unlike your selfish ass. Ass? What does ass mean? I, I said last, not ass. Whatever. I'm not in the mood to argue with you, Valentina. It's tiring and pointless, quite frankly. What the hell? I got your panties in a twist. Nothing. Leave me alone. Is it because you're worried about Fidel? Is that why you're being such a bitch? What's a bitch? I said witch, Layla. I think you have to get your hearing checked. <laughs> didn't didn't you say you didn't like Fidel? Now you're here fussing about him. I'm not worried about him. Leave me the hell alone. Looks like someone's on their period. Tell me about it. Suddenly the front door for sofa. <laughs> Raphael, uh, try not to bleed on the carpet. Not on the carpet. Um, it's a cashmere. God damn it, son. What did I just say? Sorry. Ralphie, Papa, what happened? The Russians knew about the sneak attack. They knew how. Some fucker caught Raphael by surprise and got him in the stomach. Some Raven Max fucker. Raven Max, that's got to be the masked man. It looks like it's only a flesh wound, so I think he's gonna be okay. Only a flesh wound? I'm practically dying, Papa. <laughs> Valentina, if I die tonight, make sh sure to tell Cleo I think she's hot. Quit bitching, Raphael. You're, uh, you're fine. Papa, where's Alex? Nikolai captured Alex. Alex was captured. My heart dropped to my stomach. I knew, I just knew something bad was going to happen. And now Alex was captured by the Russians. Oh, God. What are they doing to him? <sighs> They're going to kill him. Where are they going to kill him? I don't know. Uh, my head started to spin thinking about the horrible things that could ha be happening to Alex. A Alex was captured. Is he okay? Do you find him? Fidel and Simon are looking for him 
at the uh, compound. Stop. <laughs> um, I have to bring it. Here, here. Shut up, shit. Actually. Okay, because that shit was stressing me out. Uh, to make sure he didn't lose too much blood. Rafael, are you all right? Yeah, I just uh need a rest of it for a bit. Come on, son, get you stitched up. Papa, yes, Valentina. Are are they gonna find Alex in time? I hope so, for Alex's sake. Well, that didn't calm my nerves. Val. What's wrong with Ralphie? Why is he why was he bleeding? He got hurt a little but he'll be fine. But but, but he was bleeding and, and he fell down. Is he gonna die? Of course not. Little sister. He'll be okay, Layla. Everyone be okay, don't worry. Even though I was saying these words to comfort Layla, I was trying to comfort myself too. Alex was captured. Will he make it back home alive? I thought the thought of Alex dying was something I wanted to think about. Wasn't something I wanted to think about. Okay. Do you still want to play dolls? I, I don't. Wait. I don't know. I don't think so. I'll let you be the princess this time, and I'll play the princess. So. Okay. Deal. Um. Layla quickly wrapped the tea, wiped the tears out of her eyes and ran off happily. My thoughts started to drift to Alex. What happened? What went wrong in the pan? Alex couldn't die. He's Alex the Butcher Callahan. He can't die, right? Girl, Alex can die like shit, girl. Alex can die just as easily as you can die. <laughs> I was in excruciating pain and trying not to show it. Angelina had sliced basically every inch of my body. Blood was heavily flowing down my arms, legs, and back. I've been quietly undoing the rope that's binding me to the pose, and I think I've almost got it undone. It's just a matter of getting Angelina to lose her, uh, to lose her guard. And I think I know just uh, the way how. Angelina, what? I made a mistake letting you go. You you did? Yes, I did. It's my biggest regret. You're lying. You're trying to trick me. You know me, Angelina. I don't lie and I don't play games. I miss you, Angelina. I miss you so much. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. What about your wife? Aren't you in love with her? Valentina means nothing to me. I was forced to marry her. Then why did you say all those mean things to me earlier on? I was feeling guilty of the way I, we ended things, and I didn't know how to express my feelings. Please take me back, Angelina. I missed you. I missed you too, Alex. Come closer, baby. I've been dying to have you in my arms again. Angelina walks. Come on. Okay, towards me with the love and, love and desire shining in her expression. Perfect, she fell for it. She gets closer. I finally get the last knot on the rope undone. I keep my hands behind my back so it looks like I'm still tied up and grip, <laughs> grip the rope tightly in my hand. Angelina gets closer and closer. And when, she close, when she's close enough, I pull her down to the ground and wrap the piece of rope around her neck. She looks at me with shock and betrayal before the situation registers in her brain. And she starts to claw at my hands. You're a stupid bitch. You know that? <laughs> Do you really think you could keep me Alexander fucking Callahan here? L cough. Let me cough go. Okay? Uh, Now, why would I do that, Ange? My father, cough, will have your head. That's a risk that I'm willing to take. I pull the rope tighter against her neck. Uh, are you, Cough, gonna kill Cough me? Um. I want to. I really want to. But quite frankly, you're not worth the effort. With that, I raise my fist and knocks her out. <laughs> 
Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be hitting women, but I can't have her following me. Whoa. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Ouch! Fuck, I don't feel good. The room uh, swayed dangerously as I stood up. My vision started to blur and I felt like I was about to fall. It felt like I had blood running down every inch of my arm, my body. But, it, but I had to keep going. I had to get out of there. I wanted to live. I've looked everywhere, sir. I can't find them. Well, look again. We're not leaving my son in there. Yes, sir. He found his way out. Alex. You guys took too long. Well, you guys take too long. To be continued. All right, you guys. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this 36-minute-ass video.